Why hello there guys, it is Quarry Afro here. I'm bringing you another Train Simulator 2016 video. Today, I'm really excited to actually be looking at Armstrong Powerhouse's first ever official route. Uh, it is the Weary Lines, or Weary Lines, I don't know how to pronounce that properly, Weary? I guess it's Weary. Weary Lines, uh, from Norwich to Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft. If I'm saying Lofstoff as well, right? You know me and my pronunciations of most places in the UK. <laughs> it's not that good. But yeah, these, this is a route from Norwich to Great Yarmouth and Lofstoff, which is pretty cool. Around 41.1 miles, the, the whole kind of route is, which is pretty cool. Not the biggest kind of thing, but I I think the detail will in us, in itself speak, speak for itself. Because of the amount of kind of like reviews I've been reading and stuff of people's reactions to this re uh, to this route it looks pretty good and I'm really excited actually even because I've not actually loaded up into this at all so this will be my kind of first time on this video to actually give you my kind of initial reactions of it and uh, thank you to the, also the guys at Armstrong Powerhouse for sending me a free copy to actually you know do uh, do some videos on as well as play for my own pleasure because you know I don't just uh, do you know, play these on just for videos or whether I do like to play some of them on my own time but uh as you can see, when I loaded up and I saw 25 scenarios, I was like, wow, <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're not messing around, like, it, it might be not, it might not be the biggest of routes, but you definitely have some, quite a lot of stuff to do in terms of scenarios, so they've tried to make it a bit varied with that, which is pretty cool. Uh, they've released it with the Class 3.7, the revised Class 3.7 from Settle to Kalal, which is pretty cool, they've fixed the sounds and stuff like that and just made it more of an enjoyable experience, I'm really looking forward to trying out this train, which is not my kind of particular go-to train in Train Simulator, and it's not really one that just sticks out in my head like, yes, I must drive this one, or it's like a any kind of sort of favorite one there's really a lot to be kind of excited about this route in terms of like they've really gone to some lengths like the development of this route has been quite quite a long time and they've been really you know uh pressing a lot of detail into it to kind of get it to release and there's quite a lot of cool stuff in it like i think one of the main things is like the cool 74 signaling which is pretty good and some of the detailed assets and stuff like that so i'm really looking forward to actually seeing some of it once we get actually into this video out of the 25 scenarios, I thought, hmm, what could we possibly do? Because uh, obviously there's 25, and hopefully I can do some m multiple videos of this route if you guys would like it. If you like what you see so far in, in this video, and you think, oh, cool, you should do some more of this route, then uh, please tell me your interest down below, and I'll probably do some more because there's 25 scenarios. <laughs> but um, I thought out of all of them, I think I kind of like the look of this one for the first video which is a uh, scenario 6 which is 2p12 836 Norwich to Great Yarmouth and it's in the class 37 all of them are pretty much in the class 37 but it's in the 425 uh, unit uh, DRS APWL <laughs> just to read it all out there around 35 minutes which is cool and it's on a kind of good mo mode difficulty I don't want to go into the hardest kind of mode difficult straight away but again if you want to if you if you want me to do some more uh, scenarios off this route and more videos in the future tell me your interest down below and I'd like to see it because I, 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 we'll see but we still need to get into this uh, this scenario and see how actually it fall, uh, how it actually fares this route because I'm eagerly excited to get in and uh, do some driving the shout outs for this video go to Ryan Tate and I Camtasia that's again Ryan Tate and I Camtasia their links and stuff will be down below please do show them some love other than that, guys, I'm really looking forward to actually seeing you guys in the train, and uh, I will I will see you there. I will see you on the map on the Wary Lines from uh, Norwich to Great Yarmouth. See you in a bit. And I do believe we are here, and already just loaded up onto this. Like, wow, I've never seen this kind of detail of canopies, to be honest, of stations, so already a good stuff. As you can see here, the lovely... Uh, Class 37 all ready and loaded up for us, but let's do a little bit of exploring before we even get into that because Norwich Never been to Norwich, but this is Norwich station. Apparently it's a terminus station. I thought it was actually a, a kind of through station, but it is a terminus station and It's looking pretty good like quite a lot of sightings here. I've never been to Norwich So I don't know how it looks like this is first. I'm just like looking at it and observing it or whatever you can see here There's a class uh, 90 in a greater uh, Abelio greater angular, which is pretty cool and 
quite a lot of variation of coaches. I like how there's like a white one and there's a kind of old X National Express kind of blue and one railway coaches, which is pretty cool. Then we have some uh, extra stuff like the Greater uh, Valley of Greater Angular 153, which is pretty cool. And even, as a bonus, some uh, 158s, East Midlands Trains 158s, which is pretty cool. I don't know if this is the kind of formation you would see at Norwich, but that's pretty nice that they're on the same platform or whatever. Then you have like Norwich Concourse, which is looking very empty and plain today, but it's it's good. It's nice, it's airy. And the station overall, I'm pretty this looks pretty damn good to be honest, I have to say. Anyway, let's get to our train. You can hear the engines going, you can hear it's all sounding very good and we just want to get in and get going to us. Oh, and there's another 153 there in the sidings. <laughs> very nice. Direct Rail Services. I don't. Is Direct Rail Services the actual operator for this? I'm not too sure, but I thought it would be Greater uh, Abellio Greater Anglia, but I guess Direct Rail Services do this part of the line, if I'm not mistaken. But let's get in our. Wow! Oh wow! Look at this. This is looking. This really hit me like a truck. Like, look at the detail in here. This is pretty good for a class three. Um, Seven. I've not actually played a lot in the Class 3.7. I think Class 3.7 is on the West Highland lines as well. I'm not too sure. But look at this. This is kind of like the kind of detail we see in the, uh, the Class 40 that um, uh, Armstrong Power said. Look at this. It's just great. It's gritty. I like it. Wow. And I like the kind of... I don't know. I have my FOV a little bit edited, but I like the FOV. It's kind of nice and gives you a good kind of surround, which is really nice. One thing you can do with the train is actually what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to I'm going to turn off the engine because I can and then I'm also going to open the doors because you know we need to sort of get going I guess what's our departure time 36 which we should be departing right now but hey you know I, I wanted to have a little look around a little browsy around Norwich why not so today our little actually schedule list is going to be uh, Norwich uh, which we are right now at uh, Brun uh, Brundall Gardens Brundall Lingwood Axel 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 I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right or whatever um, and also, and then Greater Yarmouth. So uh, I apologise if I'm if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm not from this part of the uh, of the woods of uh, of the UK, but uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So passengers on board. We can now press. Oh, to turn off the engine. By the way, you have to press Control Z. So now to turn on the engine, I thought we could hear it rev up. Is you press Z. Oh yes. Now isn't that pretty cool, guys? Isn't that cool? I do like that. They've, they've, as I said, they have uh, improved the sounds or whatever with this unit because the normal one isn't like anything of like amazing, but it's all right. But uh, this is definitely really cool. What's that? <laughs> Some vent of noise. I don't know what the hell that's happening. Anyway, uh, we can press also I to turn on the uh, uh, the uh, instrument panel, but we don't have that kind of cool instrument panel kind of fade situation that we have with the class 40, but that doesn't matter. Uh, let's use the... get the reverser on. There's like uh, off and then uh, reversed and neutral, then forward, which is pretty cool. Is that DRA that's on? Not sure if that's a DRA. Let me see if I can. Yeah, the DRA is on for some reason. I don't know why. Let's uh, start getting moving. I think also we need to turn on the headlights, which we can do like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, and now we can like, essentially get going, to be honest. Because we are going to be a little bit late, but this is my first time on the street, so I'm not too bothered about the timing. I'm more interested in just. Um, I'm just more interested in just looking around and really just, you know, seeing, because I, I like, when, when a new route comes out, I do like looking around a bit and just kind of being a bit of a kid about things, to be honest. I do like the sounds. They're kind of really girthy and kind of meaty, which I really do like. But we are making a move slowly now, exiting here out of, uh, of Norwich, finally. 
It would have been cool if the 90 departed with us, but you know, there's math. Excellent stuff. We're on the move. The detail so far is actually pretty good. I really like the kind of setting as well, like with the foliage and stuff like that, and the kind of like nice kind of grass patterns or whatever. It's really nice. There we go. And the Fred and Free Seven is just sounding absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to actually open up the taps and really just like hear how this engine really does sound. We can uh, we can also have a look around here uh, around the cab. We have sander. We have uh, the engine stop button and the engine start button, which I have demonstrated for you guys at the beginning there. We have the wiper switch there. We have the locomotive brake, also the train brake. I have another 153 coming up, which is pretty cool. Lovely stuff. We're going to see some cool AI because. Uh, Armstrong Pass definitely know how to do some good AI with uh, with their scenarios. What else do we have here? We have the AWS reset, which is nice. There's the AWS. I thought that was going to be. I think you can also uh, uh, do the driver vigilance system, but I think it's off because I haven't heard it yet, which I'm going to keep off because I want to be able to just, you know, look around and just enjoy myself, pondering around what's there to do. Love this. It's not this unit isn't as detailed as the forty, of course. The forty will be ever the the, the almighty train of detail uh, that Armstrong Powers have done. Let's uh, let's increase a bit of the uh, power, shouldn't we? Just really hear that engine now, just growling up, ready to go. It's fantastic. We have the handbrake. Yeah, the parking brake wheel, which is pretty cool. Excellent stuff. Do we have anything here at the back that works? Would be pretty cool to see. But even if it doesn't, the detail is really, really nice. Oh, we can't even open the doors. That would have been really nice as well, like the class four. But again, I have to. I can't. Probably the the, the, the only negative thing I'm like kind of. Uh, oh, look at that. That's a bit of a river. The only thing I'm kind of a bit negative so far about is that obviously because I've 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 driven in the class forty. And I know that kind of detail with the class 40. Now sitting in this, like it looks obviously similar to the class 40, and not getting that kind of detail that I had in the class 40 is just kind of a bit like it's like an, a little annoying because I, I I really did like the class 40, and now I'm coming to class 37. It's a bit of a downgrade, but I'm happy that they at least. Um, oh, that's quite nice. I'm happy that they at least like revised it from the actual just normal class 37 that's in the game. Let's uh, increase a bit more power, why not? Because we have 60 miles per hour and we're just only cruising up 40. Let's go a little bit more, 70% should do it. Right, passenger view. I pressed 5 to go passenger view, but I couldn't. Let's see if it maybe shuffles through the cameras or whatever. And that's the... Uh Ooh, I love it. Centre camera of the Class 37. That's something I actually remembered from... Uh uh, the uh, West Highlands, that's something really nice. I like it, the English uh, countryside. Very good. Oh, get a little whistle horn there. There we go. It's a nice middle camera, let's see, let's shuffle through a bit more, see what we get. Okay, that. Nothing else so far. Wait, this should be... Uh Hello, class one, five, three. <laughs> Gonna lower off a bit of the uh, the accelerator a bit because we have a twenty mile an hour coming up. So I'm okay. I don't want to be too doing go too fast or whatever. But I'm a bit. I thought there was a, a passenger view with this, but I'm I must be mistaken because there isn't. Annoyingly. I'm going to have to start slowing down as well because we do have annoyingly a 20 mile an hour coming up and we get an AWS warning so something's coming up. Probably the speed limit change. Going to apply a bit of locomotive brake as well. I 
All is good so far. I need to find out. I don't think there is a passenger view, but... I'm going to see if I can find one. This train's actually slowing down pretty well, to be honest. There's our back unit with uh, no logo. I'm finding it quite pleasant to just... Uh, there we go. And we can let go of the uh, locomotive brick as well. And we can just now coast at 20 once we pass the uh, 20 and go into the 60. Then we can increase back. That's good. We slow down actually quite nicely there. And we have about 1.3 miles left to our station, which is which is all right. We're making good time here. I can try and find this passenger view, which I'm determined to find. Or maybe there just no, there isn't. Well, that's sort of a passenger view. We're inside the cab, and then we're sticking our head out of here, essentially. I don't think there is a passenger view. I saw in the d uh, preview videos that there isn't really one. Which, to be honest, that's that's fine. These are just normal. Are these Mark Two, Mark Three coaches? I'm not too sure. But they're just normal coaches. They're not anything special. Right. Let's get some more power in this class three seven. Let's uh. Open up the tap a bit. I love how it just like gurgles up a bit, like it churns and it kind of growls and gets more aggressive. And the FPS, I have to say, for this route so far has been really good. I mean, really good stuff. Can I open these windows at all? No. A little bit annoying, can't open the windows. No. Little nib little nitpick point there. Just why can't I open my windows? <laughs> Anything up here? No. I'm thinking too much of the class for you, I shouldn't. Ah, I see why we weren't actually uh Ah. That's odd. Is it because... Oh. Oh, so I have to... Oh, it has that thing where you need to hold the uh, brake. Annoyingly. That should be fine. Doesn't matter. We're coming up to... To Brundle Gardens, our first stop. I don't know why. Uh, why, why that's doing that where it it, sta it kind of stays on 15% all the time and I have to hold it. Right, let's uh... It's a little horn there for the cross, uh, for the crossing there. I was a bit late on that, but... I don't really too mind. Something which I'm actually getting very soon, guys, is actually Track IR. And uh, that should hopefully improve, like, say, Ompsy and... Uh, ooh, come on. Come on. Stop. Did I make that? <laughs> right. First stop, sort of... Sort of okay? I think that's actually sort of alright. Like, po I, I don't think three carriages can fit on this. Maybe just just about. But I did overrun a little bit. I, I was a bit, little bit naughty there, wasn't I? Well, we got two. That's fine. People could just walk through and just be like, yep, I can get off here. That's fine. But this is Brundle Gardens, a nice little... Nice little, really nice little say. I guess this is some sort of like heritage line as well. It's not like uh, like one, or like on the like a main line kind of route that has a lot of services or whatever. But anyway, let's uh, do a nice little aerial departure here. We're looking at the FPS is so good on this. There we go. Oh my god, the start off of this engine is fantastic. Mm. 
There he goes. I need to bring up that short. See, you see this, uh, see, uh, well, this is something I think I remembered in the class uh, 40 that you have this thing where it actually holds at 50% for some time and then you have to kind of release it or something like that, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's the, ah, I see what the problem is, I forgot to take off the locomotive brake. <laughs> anyway, we're coming up to also Brindell very shortly, so... I don't want to over. I want to try and get this uh, perfectly into the station. To be honest, I don't want to overrun this one. Get some lights here for engine stopped, wheels slip and fall, etc., which is pretty cool. Similar to the class 40. This train is really, really similar to the class 40. Gonna oh another another whistle sign. I'm gonna let it coast now a bit so we can uh, start braking. Coming up to Brundal. I guess these are all kind of nice little kind of village towns and stuff along the way, and then Great Yarmouth obviously is right next to the sea, I do believe, if my geography is correct. Oh, nice little car park there, nice. Right, this looks much better than uh, Brundal Gardens, to be honest. It's, uh,. 0% it a bit. I think we can coast now comfortably at 60 miles per hour. Oh, a bit of a longer platform, which is nice. There we go. Oh, and we have some 74 signals now, which is really, really, really nice. There we go. And then you can see the S marker there just on the left. Coming up to very nice. Very nice. There's our first 74 signal, I do believe. Or maybe we've had one I just haven't even noticed, but these apparently have been really done well in terms of like the sounds and stuff that have been and, and the animations that have been added to this it's been really scripted well so we're gonna watch the train po uh, go past it and see uh, how it changes and like clinks down which is really cool that's one of the things I've been seeing in the previous videos that the Samuel 4 Samuels are definitely a key point of this map staying clear we're ready to depart for Ling uh, for Lingwood right There we go. Just hop off, hop up here, just above the. Uh, there's the train. There it goes. Watch the signal vigilantly. <laughs> And oh, it's not come, not come down. That's weird. Does it have to clear the next signal? I do believe, possibly, maybe. There we go. Do you hear that clunk? That was oh, that was so nice. Anyway, we're changing track here. Possibly, I'm guessing that 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 track on the right goes to low. Lowscoft? What was it again? I keep forgetting the name of it. Lowes Lowstoft? I'm guessing. And then this is to this is to Great Yarmouth, I'm presuming. Nice rattle of the engine. But annoyingly, fifteen miles per hour so far. I hope it's not for too long. I hope we get to stretch the stretch the class three sevens legs a little bit because it would be such a shame if this is oh sixty. Speak of the devil. <laughs> I 
Oh, uh, seven full signal. What do you guys think so far? I'm think I'm really interested. Like, I'm not saying a lot in this video because I'm just like taking this all in because it's just really, really nice, and it's just a nice, pleasant surprise. Like, I knew that Armstrong Powerhouse were going to do something really nice, but this is just such a nice little pleasant route to drive, and the actual train's really, really nice to drive as well. Just a bit intrigued by that break. I don't. Know, it's keeping 15%. I don't know if that's limiting the way I accelerate, but I don't mind. It doesn't cap it. It just means that we're accelerating a little bit, like you know, slow. That's fine. But as I've mentioned, um, as I've mentioned, I'm, I am actually going to be acquiring Track IR very soon, which is going to be pretty cool for my for my trains and videos as well as my Omsi 2 videos. Oh, what does that mean? No, we still have a... Still do have a... Oh, that's a caution signal. As I've read in the manual. <laughs> but I've... Uh, basically, I, I've, I'm actually getting track IR for, like, free. Essentially, because I've contacted developers and they nicely... Um, uh, are going to send me one, which is really, really nice. So... In the future, expect videos to have some lovely head movement. Um, I don't know for train sim. I definitely think for OMSI it's going to be really vital, but for train sim, I, I'm not too sure. Might do it for train sim. We'll see. We'll see what you guys think. Will you give me some opinions in the future when I implement it into the videos? But I thought it's it was about time to get Truck IR because of the um, because of the G29 that I acquired recently. So you know all that. I'm going to go into the. Uh, the middle camera. I really like this camera. This I feel more powerful sitting here, if you know what I mean. Another little crossing here. Oh, is that some engineers? Let me give them a little toot. As you do when you pass engineers, you need to give them a little toot just to say, yep, I'm passing through. Watch out. Come out to Lingwood. I am travelling in quite slow to be honest, but I'd rather be safe than sorry to be honest because now I think this, this station's a bit shorter than the previous one. It's pretty similar to how Br uh, Brundell Gardens was, so I'm not I'm not taking any chances. Anyway, you know, I'm being a nice kind of I guess this is a heritage route, I'm being a nice heritage driver. I'm driving slow, letting people admire the scene the scenery of uh, of houses and uh, farming estate I guess. FPS is fantastic on this map. I, I'm really in awe. Like, it's so smooth. Right, this one I'm going to have to be a little bit vigilant because obviously the, the locomotives are not going to stop on the platform. It's only the... Uh, only the... Only the uh, carriages, hopefully. I'm guessing that's all right. Yes. I'm getting pretty pro at this, to be honest, now. Oh, this is a really nice little cottage station, isn't it? What's this little town here? Yep. Oh, very nice. Oh, someone here has got a nice little conservatory. That's very, very nice. I just pop out here, cross the signal whatever and then you know boom you're here at the station to take the nice uh, direct so uh, direct rail services either to Norwich or Great Yarmouth which is pretty cool very nice I like the flowers the nice little bouquets and whatever which is cool oh even though they are the uh, infamous 3d I mean 2d texture because when you move your camera around, they uh, they follow you <laughs> oh no they don't they're 3d I think yeah they're, no they're 3d 
They're not the they're not the infamous 2D trees. <laughs> anyway. Let's head back in our cab. And get moving. We have some more engineers here, so I'm gonna give it a nice little horn as well when we go in a crossroads. <laughs> Thank you. Now the next station, which I, I'm having a bit of a hard time to pronounce because, uh, Akel, Assel. No, what am I saying? Assel. It's Asla, Asla, Akla. <laughs> um, this is an interesting one. We're not in Scotland, which is kind of odd. So. I find it hard that I'm struggling with a name that's not in Scotland. But yeah, any takers for what that is? Anyone live there or near there? Let's do a bit of a drive-by. Why not? Oh, look at that. Fabulous. Excellent stuff. Nice meadow fields. It does really feel like the kind of area of your kind of like Yarm of Norwich, definitely. And if any of you guys like live somewhere around here, tell me like is this kind of how it is, to be honest. It's very pleasant. Go back to the normal view here. I'm gonna tail off the power a little bit because I don't wanna. I'm gonna have to slow down to 50 anyway and then slow down for. Ak. Akla? 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 I'm going with Akla. If it's not Akla, then uh, amaze me in the comments and tell me what you think it is because I'm really surprised if it's not. <laughs> But so far, I'm just so amazed with this route. This is really just a really nice little pleasant route. And it just feels like a nice kind of chillax kind of route, if you know what I mean. But obviously, I've not seen most of it. This is only a part of it from Norwich to Great Yarmouth. And then, obviously, you have uh, Norwich to Lowestoft, which is a completely different thing. So, again, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want me to do some more and you're liking what you see, then please show me interest in the comments down below. And I will definitely see about doing some more because 25 scenarios that's quite a lot I'm guessing each kind of have their own kind of twist on things like different weather etc different AI kind of scheduling whatever oh is that a I do believe it's a 153 that's waiting for me very nice some AI we well, wouldn't expect that much on a single track kind of kind of portion of this network. There we go, one five three, you're clear to go once I pass. There we go. Let's try and do a external arrival. It's not the easiest of things, but I think I can uh, I think I can manage it. Oh, look at that moon over there. Nice. There are some custom, like, uh, weather stuff as well, in this map as well. There we go. Perfect. Lovely. Even though the stop sign is somewhere here, but I'm just catering that I just fit in the platform, to be honest. I don't really care where the locomotive itself is placed, to be honest. All aboard for Great Yarmouth, which I do believe is our next stop and final stop. We've actually been not bad, actually, on time, to be honest. Oh, no. 
That's weird. It's it's ticking me off that I have been on time, but I haven't been on. Okay, that's the first one I haven't been on time. So we were on time at Lingwood, Brundell, and Brundell Gardens, but now we're a little bit late. I don't know how we but managed to become five minutes late, but that's a, that's a bit interesting. But we have a, about five minutes, six minutes to get to Great Yarmouth, which is eleven uh, seven miles away. That's going to be an interesting one. I don't know if we can make it, but we'll try. Off she goes. I'm guessing this 15% thing is actually to promote wheel slip if I'm if I'm guessing. Oh, this is just fabulous. I'm, I'm just... I, I do apologize if I'm not talking a lot, but I'm just, just enjoying this so much. Just... the re It's it's quite relaxing. And normally because when I... Like, I have, there's two reasons sometimes why I don't speak. There's sometimes I just don't have anything to say. Which, in a way, I don't really have that much to say because this route uh, is pretty good. And then the second reason is, like, I, sometimes I just like to sit back and enjoy it. Like, just let it kind of play out itself. Because even though I do commentary on my videos, I do sometimes just like to relax and let the kind of gameplay speak for itself, if you know what I mean. And I know that like there's been many people over the uh, the years or whatever that have been like, uh, less talking Samuel, less talking Quirty, you know. So hopefully this video caters to those people that don't like me talking very much. Fabulous stuff. Look at this. The foliage and stuff is just really nicely done. That was really close. I almost missed that AWS completely. I'm also glad that you guys like uh, so far how my City Skyline series is going. The first episode of City Skyline with Quilton Heights, that seems to be going really nicely. I just hit my pop filter there, I do apologize for that. But yeah, City Skyline is going really, really nicely and. Thank you for all like, the suggestions for like the mods and stuff like that. I'm going to be definitely trying to this week get some gameplay or whatever. But for, for now, in terms of videos, I think I'm really busy with Train Simulator because there's been like so much things that have been given to me. There's obviously this the wary lines that, that have been kind, that's been kindly given to me by um, Armstrong Powerhouse. I've also received the two codes for the class three set uh, seven class seven free Gatwick, uh, Gatwick Express and also the maglev. The Pudong Madlev, which I'm going to be doing videos on hopefully soon. And also, I bought myself, if you watch watching the previous Friday Night with Query Afro, I bought the Western Mainlines from Just Train. So, there's actually quite a lot of train sim content that I have to actually do and get through. So, if most of the next kind of upcoming latest videos are train sim, you know why, because there's quite a lot of stuff for me to get through in terms of content that's been released recently. So, just giving you a little preempt warning. But there is stuff with like OMSI, OMS, of course, that I want to do. There's always stuff with OMSI, it's just trying to get things to work, essentially. <laughs> but I myself am, uh, I'm bearing through, I'm bearing through university, you know, it's, it's tough. And maybe that's why, like, as I said, the uploads are affected, basically, because of my kind of university work and whatever. And I'm not ashamed to kind of admit that or whatever. But, uh, you know, university does come first. But I've, I've just been really just, like, you know, full steam ahead with university work. As I've been mentioning in my previous videos, it's 
it's just been a lot of work and just me trying to not overlap with anything and to trying to get everything done when, when it's like set instead of just leaving it and backlogging it to like the very end where uh, like say my Easter break or uh, you know when I have time off for like to, to actually just revise for things I, I, I've done everything during the whole kind of semester and then during that kind of time I can have like almost I can have my kind of break and whatever but like say family or whatever but also it will give me a lot more open time to kind of just revise kind of things that I need to revise and so I'm just catching up with loads of work over the term that kind of just builds up so like this kind of semester I've just kind of gone for that kind of full steam approach or full power head you know 100% on the front on the uh, throttle <laughs> But yeah, it does take a toll on me. Like, uh, it's crazy because I've, like, recently, like, also recently, like, this kind of beginning semester time and kind of year, I've been kind of trying to be a bit more healthier in terms of, uh, uh, like, say, I, I, like, before I just mainly, the only kind of sport I did was about, like, badminton twice a week, normally during my kind of university life. Now, this year, the beginning, started, like, in the beginning of January since I started back at university, uh, I've, I've actually still keep doing the badminton like twice a week and then now I've started you know I've picked up uh, swimming and uh, some of you might not actually know that actually when I was moderately young say like between let's say about 7 and 12 I think I can't really remember the exact ages but between those ages I was actually um, like a professional swimmer somewhat like not professional to get like to national level or whatever but I was like I was like hardcore training in swimming and uh, went to like swimming galas and stuff like that around like London. It, like I was doing like loads of like London competitions and stuff like that and I was doing a lot of training. Like I mean the training when I was doing it when I was like at that age was really vigorous. I would do it like about three times per week and it would be like seven hour sessions and they were crazy. I'm so glad I didn't do them anymore but the thing is I picked up sw swimming recently uh, to like become more fit again and I find that doing more exercise just makes me feel a lot better uh, with myself like in terms of doing I'm just going to lower the power here a little bit so we can coast a bit down to hopefully uh, 50 I'm probably going to have to add a bit of brake as well because it's not going to naturally coast to 50 in time to be honest and then we have a 15 mile an hour so we're going to have to be adding a little bit of brake soon I'm going to add a bit of brake now just so we can, can slowly but surely get down to to 15 but yeah, I've uh, I've kind of started swimming, and uh, and this kind of exercise now is just it's making me feel a lot better about myself, and also it's just it just really refreshes you, and it just keeps me it keeps me more alert in a way, and it just makes me feel less in a way lazy because like what a lot of people can do when they study or whatever is that they don't have enough exercise or whatever, and then you get bogged down and almost you're lazy to yourself but you're not obviously you're studying and stuff and you know that involves a lot of sitting down and you know doing um, you know doing that kind of like me uh, mental kind of stuff with your brain but people don't realize that you need to also work out your body and ha like have that kind of healthy flow of energy going through your body with with sports and stuff like that or just exercise and that's something i've really noticed by kind of picking up swimming and um just gonna release the brakes here. We don't really need to slow down anymore until like half a mile till 15. But it's really helped me. Like I've now, I'm, I now do like swimming three times a week and badminton two times a week. I try to do at least an hour or two, uh, hour an hour or two session of swimming uh, each time I go for the three times each week. And then badminton, I do like between two and three hours each of the two sessions I do. So I find even though. To be honest, it is pretty. It's quite a lot actually when I come to think of it. Like I do like three times a week swimming, and two times a week badminton, and then I have you know all of YouTube to worry about, and then all of my degree to worry about. It's quite a lot of stuff, stuff to juggle, to be honest. But I find the exercise is so vital in just me keeping a sane mind, to be honest. I just saw the little cheeky whistle board there on the right. But yeah, I just feel it just feels really good. I don't know if you guys get that. Like, uh, you know, tell me down below. Do you, do you kind of do exercise, and does that make you kind of feel uh, better with kind of things, and just makes you feel more energized, and helps you with like kind of your mental kind of uh, uh, you know kind of brain part of like doing things of like you know your like whatever thing you do at school or university or whatever. Does it just kind of help with that? Because I find it helps tremendously. Anyway, look at these sightings. Look at this. this is, look at the kind of 
nice foliage on the tracks. I just love this. It just like it like makes it just so kind of like olden and gives it some age. I love it. Anyway, coming up to now Great Yarmouth, we are running about, you know, well, a few minutes late, but who cares? We've enjoyed ourselves. It's been a really nice, relaxing ride, and I thoroughly have enjoyed this part of the map so far. Obviously, as I said again, there is uh, Norwich to uh, to Lowestoft, which we have to do. I think that's slightly longer. I do believe this is like the shorter part, and then to Lowestead is a bit longer. So, again, if you guys want me to do this, because I really don't mind because so far this is just a really nice route to drive on and the train is like enjoyable and I feel the difference that you get with this route with the, with the kind of train and stuff the revised class 3.7 is really good but tell me what you guys think because obviously this is the fir my first video off this route you know and so far first impressions re like a, I really do like it and again 25 scenarios yes please <laughs> the more the merrier <laughs> Nice pop out your head of the window camera. Oh, we're changing track. Nice. We're all going on platform three. Lovely stuff. Great Yarmouth. Oh, look at that magic. Like they've they've marked on like this kind of vegetation and stuff, which is really nice. You can just just see the details. Just is there. And someone's just parked their Ford Focus just in the middle there. Should get towed. <laughs> So look at this. This approach into here is very nice. These are quite big platforms. Do you like longer trains coming or something? These are huge platforms. So very huge platforms. Look at this. This could almost fit like a, I don't know, a 90? Close enough? Just coasting in now. We don't really have to do much. We should, we should start braking. There we go. Oh, there's some like point changes here. I guess to move low, uh, to to move maybe some locomotives. If there's like one, but we have a double, so we just turn around and it's pretty easy. There we go. Coming up almost to the buffers. I don't know where the actual stop is, the recommended stop is. But I guess pretty much anywhere here is alright. Yeah, we've stopped anyway. The train's just naturally gone. Yep, I'm going to stop here. Let's go exploring. Alright, this is Great Yarmouth. There's the sea. Well, this is the town. Oh my god, I've lost where the train station is. Where is it? Ah, there it is. There you go, Great Yarmouth Station. All good. Could go in here. Somewhere. Then out here. Then here's the platforms. There's a train. Good job, an eventful trip. But that is uh, not a bad thing. Oh, an uneventful trip. I it was like eventful. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's like, what? <laughs> anyway. That, my friends was uh, the Wherry Lines, Norwich to Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft. Obviously this is just Norwich to Great Yarmouth because I haven't done to Lowestoft yet. If you want me to do to Lowestoft, or maybe even Lowestoft to Norwich would be a good one to do, or maybe we could even mix it up and do like Great Yarmouth back to Norwich and then Norwich to Lowestoft and then Lowestoft back to Yarmouth, I don't know, like with all the kind of scenarios there are, because they're mainly just, you know, Great Yarmouth to Norwich, Norwich to Great Yarmouth, just different situations and stuff. Then there's low stuff to Norwich, uh, Norwich to low stuff, and then there's like the beginning part where there's Great Yarmouth to low stuff, which I guess you backtrack yourself in the way, and then just there's there's just many other kind of things, I suppose, just the different weather scenarios and kind of probably different AI and different kind of shunting operations, etc. And like if it's non-stop or semi-fast, etc. But that was my first video on the Wary Lines by like uh, Armstrong Powerhouse, their first map, and so far I'm really liking it. Sorry, it wasn't a massively commentative uh, video, but I was just I was just enjoying just sitting back and just you know letting the you know just driving really. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was just a peaceful kind of map, and that's kind of 
the big good thing about it is just it's really nice and peaceful and just really nice detail is really really good bad points I would say like because obviously they do they did the class 40 and then they've obviously revised the class 3 7 they haven't obviously done it to kind of class 40 levels but it's kind of just annoying being in the class 3 7 and knowing that they've you know done things with the class 40 and it they could have possibly added some more stuff to the class 3 7 to kind of resemble the class 40 as well that's my kind of only kind of qualms about it and also passenger view i don't know why that's not added but you obviously had the kind of pop out head kind of passenger view but maybe there's like a way of getting into the passenger view i don't know you guys can tell me down below but other than that i highly would recommend it uh, especially if you you know obviously you live around here and you 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 want a route like this and even if you don't i think it's a pleasant little route it is 30 pounds it is a bit expensive on the expensive side but uh you can definitely tell that a lot of love has gone into this route and I'm pretty impressed with it, so I, I, I would myself recommend it. I was going to buy it anyway, but then they they were like, yep, do you want a free coffee? I was like, okay, I don't have to spend money then and buy it, but uh, uh, definitely would recommend. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it was a nice little pleasant, relaxing video, and uh, you know, I kept you up to date with a few things of what I'm doing like in my sporting kind of life and whatever. But other than that, the shout-outs again go to Ryan Tate and... Uh, uh, I Camtasia, that's again Ryan Tate and I Camtasia, the links and stuff will be down below, show them some love I will see you guys in the next video take care and have a lovely day we ain't